There you go. Thank you. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> it's been quite a while since uh, we've done any sort of sit-down video and uh, I guess that's the point. <laughs> okay, so today we decided to take a bit of a breather and have a chat about van bill burnout and how stressful <laughs> a van conversion can be if you start going at the wrong pace for you. <laughs> how all-consuming a van conversion can become. I mean, <laughs> our life right now is, let me say, 40% uh, van built, 30% van research, would you 30, say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then what is it? 20% working. 20% uh, working. Then what do we have left? 10, eating, 10. sleeping. So eating, sleeping, anything else. 10%. Um, <laughs> do, do we include editing in, the, in these percentages anywhere? No. That uh, not working. So we have 10% for <laughs> relaxing, uh, eating and any any of that sort. Our existence right now is 70% van build. <laughs> and it, it is it is great. Uh, we love doing the van build. Mm. We, we love the whole journey. Honestly, lately in the last month, we have not allowed ourselves a break for a moment. There's been van build, van build research, and it just feels like pretty much that. Fr fr from when we wake up, to the time when we go to sleep, there's some sort of food and ice cream in there, and then <laughs> down, like yeah. off, complete <laughs> kaput. And scarily, we come to the point that we don't even remember how to take a break. <laughs> we literally have to Google how to relax, how to take a break, and yeah. when you get to that point, you realise you're 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 well down the rabbit hole. Then <laughs> yeah, it's like oh Whoa. shoot, I should not be googling this. <laughs> Google should have just come back. You should not be googling. <laughs> And despite immensely enjoying what we're doing right now, both of us started feeling really overworked. And we realized that we are grossly underestimating how physically and mentally taxing the van conversion is. I mean, after the second week of going full steam, we both started getting headaches. Mm. They turned into migraines. <laughs> and I mean, the muscle ache from the physical labor started to feel like we were getting like flu ache. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, you got a migraine plus muscle ache, and you you pretty much, you know, no fever or anything. No. It, it it was it was just 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 it's a just, weird feeling. Yeah. And we know everyone has experienced burnout before. Yeah, for 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 this or yeah. that, it doesn't have to be van build related. Any project yeah. can, can burn you out. It's just when burnout comes and it hits you, it doesn't come politely and knock on your door. It's like, hi, can I please come in? It's, it's like, like no. Poof. Don't do that to a burnout person who has a migraine. I thought you didn't have a migraine today. Okay, that's true, I didn't, which is why, why we can film anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> but the trick is, so with any project that you feel so passionate about, and van conversions are no exception to this, and for first time uh, of van converters, we want to get the, the van build <laughs> done yeah. ASAP yeah, so because, like, we, because we want to get on the road, road. <laughs> you know we, okay we love the van build but honestly do I want to be chilling somewhere warm sitting in my house swinging on my on my hanging <laughs> chair or getting blisters and splinters <laughs> the whole day long while being in a in a in a, in a cold cold um, van without heating I, I want to be living in my house <laughs> yeah my so house. you know yeah. which way do you want to go you know wanting to get it over with is it's understandable <laughs> we, we are no different and we keep overestimating how much we can mm. do in a week yeah like we'll plan the week at first and then we're still even though we know that it's going to take us longer than that week to do some of these tasks we still write it down and then at the end of the week when half of those aren't done we're like oh we didn't do that and we didn't do this and that took us I, longer I, actually, actually <laughs> we were going through some of our old notes last year we wrote these poster notes with uh, um, a month above so mm. so but what we're we going to do in march what we're we going to do in february why am i doing this in the in backwards <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. But, but, but essentially we had January, February, March, April and May, I think, written down yeah. for last year. Yeah. Okay. And in, in those things we had, like, for example, in February, we had do electrics or complete wiring. Complete wiring. And we, com no, actually that was for January. We wrote yeah. it in January and we did complete it in January <laughs> a year later. It was like one month would have uh, about three to four very intensive <laughs> problem solving projects. So some of them are innovating, some, some of them are kind of more, more straightforward. Mm. Uh, you know, other people have done them, so we have yeah. the instructions in front of us. Um, uh. It's completely delusional. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Yeah. There was no way we could do that much yeah. in yeah. a month. And I think all this unrealistic expectation basically led to just a lot of stress. So since we're a bit glitchy this week, we thought instead of moping around that we're all burned <laughs> out and we can't do anything because, you know, everything hurts, uh, we thought that we'll um, sit down and have a chat about how to deal with van build burnout. And my first piece of advice, it is all about the perception. So really I think the whole thing with burnout is we need to learn to better manage our expectations from, yeah. from ourselves and of our abilities at yeah. the time because mm. this whole thing is a learning process and i mean i guess the first thing to realize is that a van build is a monumental task to yeah. take on you know whether you choose to do a uh, rather technical uh, build or you're doing a more a more straightforward design mm -hmm. The research in itself can mm. be extremely overwhelming. I mean, every time that we're studying something new, so like for the electrics mm. or for the heating, the first time I like try and research that information and like go over what I need to do. Uh, my, my head starts overheating. It literally fe fe feels like a computer that is trying to do something very intensive. It feels like I'm running out of RAM. If, if, <laughs> if, if you're like tech savvy, you know, I feel flushed and even though uh, I could have been sitting the entire day. At the end of the day, I feel knackered. So imagine doing all of that, all that brain cooking research, and then actually going outside into the cold and spending all day building something whilst continuously problem solving. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, because the truth is, no matter how much you plan, there are always going to be unexpected steps that are going to pop up uh, and uh, you won't be able to ignore them. Like, you're going to have to slot um, a small task between step five and six and, and suddenly... Um, something that was quite straightforward, now you now you're U turning, you it's all twists and turns, zigzags and it just sort of messes up your timing, it kind mm. of kinda of slows you down. And then I find that the most stressful parts of the van build are when I'm not prepared to deal with problems. <laughs> because there are always problems. Always. But sometimes I just I have my checklist, I think I have it ironed out, and then things start breaking or or something goes wrong and all I really want to do is just go through my checklist and off. add nothing on. Usually I'm, I'm okay with chaos and, and, and you know all the problems that, that go around the van build and just DIYing stuff, that's mm. normal to me now. But just so, so, some days, especially when you start feeling burnt out, you know, you start reaching the, the end of your, your, thread, your, your thread or yeah. whatever. You, um, you just want to get something done and say, yeah. today I have completed this, I'm yeah. good now. And you just want to see, you just, you just, want, you want to see those checks. So you yeah. just want to cross things out. Just, just, yeah. because, you just want to have a good day oh. because you cannot handle any more. Yeah. And then when I mean, that doesn't happen, it's yeah. yeah. I mean, for example, right now, what we're doing right now, yeah. we're doing the wall cladding for the yeah. back. Yeah, you might, you might notice there's a bit more white here, a little <laughs> yeah. bit more black here. You know, yeah. that was meant to be this week's fan build video. Okay, we spent a week and a half preparing all the pieces. You know, painting them, sanding them, getting them up. Yeah, and we'll get into that because you're yeah. going to see the video. Yeah. But but in yeah. short, all we needed to do was mount them on the walls. Yeah, so on, on our list, <laughs> we had one step left. It said, put up walls. Seems simple, right? Okay, we gave ourselves <laughs> a day to do it. Yeah, we even gave ourselves yeah. an entire yeah. day and we said, right, we'll t it may not take us a whole day, but we'll give ourselves yeah. a day. Yeah, we're three days later. Yep. And although, of course, that some of the walls are up, they're, they're right behind us, they're not complete. What we didn't account for in our grand plans um, is that each panel needed to be screwed onto our framing with about a hundred screws. <laughs> Do you know how long it takes to screw a hundred screws? <laughs> well, it wasn't just screwing on the hundred screws. No, no, we had, to, we had to mark on the panel where those hundred screws are going so they're relatively evenly screwed on. <laughs> then we also had to make sure that the positions that we pick on the panels match with the framing behind. Mm. Uh, because if we don't hit the framing behind, there's nothing to screw <laughs> the wall into. And we didn't uh, want to screw up and just create a hole in our wall. Yeah, which we didn't have to fill and <laughs> la, -di -da -di -da -da -la, la So all of that takes ages. However, because not all of our uh, matching attempts were successful, sometimes it turned out that we have to adjust the framing. <laughs> so one would have to then undo all of the uh, hundred screws that one has put into the wall, then repair the damage and put them back on. So put on the hundred screws, remove a hundred screws, put in the hundred screws again. So that's what happened. And 
even after all of that, now that the walls are on the wall, we actually have to now make them look good. I mean, we painted them before, but what we didn't account for, again... For some reason, I don't know why... Is that they're speckled with screws. <laughs> so now we have to fill the screws and then paint over them so we, we don't have some sort of yeah. retro look going in the van. So we have to fill in 400 screw holes. Probably with a bit, wood filler. Probably a bit more, actually, yeah. but never mind. <laughs> so that one instruction of put up the walls... <laughs> Has it's, exploded it's, it, into its, its 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 own grand novel. So on our new list, we have uh, wood fill, sand, and paint. Three steps, easy peasy, right? All done. No, that is the optimist in me. Okay. <laughs> so at this point, to avoid absolute disappointment and burnout, we really need to go through a reality check here. It's not three steps. It is at least four hundred steps on the wood fill section because each screw takes at least a minute to, to fill with, without messing it up completely, right? So it kind of feels like we're chasing our own tails here, right? Yeah, because it says, like, like, we'll say we'll finish the task within three days, mm. and then it's been seven days, and it's still not done, and we're absolutely exhausted, and we don't even take a breath yeah. within those seven yeah. days. Because it's something weird that happens, you know, at least in my brain, when, 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 when I have a list, <laughs> and I'm up to, like, nearly the end, so they have one piece, piece left, and I'm like, okay, we can get this done, we, we, we can push through, we can push yeah. through, and then you push through for one, one. two, a week longer and you're like how long has it been why is this not done yet and, and that and that is how we reach burnout that that is how how we get here yeah. because we really don't allow ourselves to take a breath sometimes we even ignore our basic needs like sometimes we miss meals uh, or, or sleep or, or sleep you know even just just last night we carried on doing the walls until 2 a.m mm. and i was like there's, there's no way we're gonna yeah. be able to get them done um uh, and then Somehow edit the edit. video <laughs> and it's like yeah. hold on a sec let's just yeah take yeah. it down so really what we're trying to say like both to you and our and ourselves <laughs> is we need to give ourselves permission to to take a break i mean a lot of this van build has been us trying to fine-tune the pace at which we go yeah um and, and i mean quite frankly yeah. we are struggling sometimes yeah well we, we, we struggle <laughs> we struggle all the time that that's how we get get the burnout <laughs> and the irony is that uh, usually when we try and rush for something for whatever reason <laughs> what usually happens is step one we are incredibly lucky and uh, the thing we rushed actually works out well that really okay. happens that but really happens it can but anything's possible yeah. it's possibility but usually, more, more often than not, what happens is we, we either uh, bomb completely, we mess it up so badly that we just have to redo it. Yeah. Uh, so in that way, we um, spend more time on that task than we would otherwise. And yeah. we usually spend more money because we've probably broken something mm. because we haven't thought something through. Or it gets done but it gets done poorly so yeah. like we're sitting there we're disappointed yeah. and we're like regretting the outcome that's actually happened yeah and then we're left with uh, uh two choices uh learn to live with the botched <laughs> job we've done which is yeah. possible we've done that before yeah. or undo it and we do it again which um, again is point two which yeah, costs us so, more time and money and when we start rushing through something that is actually the most stressful thing ever and yeah. we start when we start feeling like pressured by time yeah you know that just takes the enjoyment out of the van bill the way because mm. um, i mean i don't mind spending an entire week doing something tiny that maybe you won't really even see maybe it's something structural maybe mm. it's just something that will make things easier in the future i don't mind spending the time to do it yeah but i have to get it done right yeah, and 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 you know, you might you might think wh why would you need to rush if you if you don't mind spending <laughs> you know ages on 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 things? I mean, like all of you, you know, we want to get the van done. We're so yeah. excited about getting the walls up and getting the lights up. You know, we, we have the lights. They're okay, sitting guys, in the house. They're sitting in the house. Okay, <laughs> we want to put them up. And, and the heating. And, and oh, and the heating. We've like, got the pipe. We're ready to go. Yeah, oh, we just yeah. Need to... guys, we got the pig pipe, we got the diesel tank, okay? That we're all ready to go. Uh, and excluding the uh, minus five degrees that's outside, which will make it excruciatingly <laughs> painful to actually install the heater at the moment. Yeah. It's we're, ready we're, to go. Yeah, we're ready. Um, so, so it's it's just it's just basically it's 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 a paradox, okay? The the excitement of doing the van mode and all that passion that we're putting into it. Mm. 
it's just it's just we're getting really tired. Yeah. And it's really frustrating because I'm I'm like I'm like sitting 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 in bed. And I'm like, I I don't want to be here watching this whatever <laughs> show. I want to be doing the van yeah. build. But then I'm out doing the van build and my head starts hurting because I'm just yeah. burnt out and it's an incredibly annoying feeling, and it's such a paradox and yeah. it's it's just really really tough to deal yeah. with. It, and, you know. And I think the other thing is that we really want to be producing videos that actually have like a you know an ending we don't want to just like oh and here are the walls and they're covered in speckles and we're going to leave it there for this week because we yeah. ran out of time and quite frankly we yeah, can't be bothered to spend it's the time it's, at the it's like sure we, we can release it there uh, i mean I'm, I'm sure you know some of you wouldn't wouldn't mind mind that <laughs> yeah. but but then it's, it's just it's just not the content that that we, we want we want to put out yeah. like we want to get things to finality and actually show something that like we want to show yeah. we want to show yeah. a story essentially and you know i guess at the end of the day we just need to learn to respect our own needs yeah um and the pace at which we need to build yeah and what and, we need to learn yeah because all of this is such a huge learning experience and we underestimate how much we need to cram for this yeah. it's, it's like a mini degree or maybe a full <laughs> degree in van build yeah um, and I mean, some people can convert a van in a few months yeah. and then for some people it takes a few years and that's fine. We all have our own reasons for why we build the way we do or how long it takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually what helps us quite a lot is remembering to credit all of the work and all of the steps that we have <laughs> actually done so mm. far instead of just looking forward and chasing that mile long list of tasks that are, are yet to be done and all of us shouldn't undervalue the achievement and the strain behind getting <laughs> all of those check marks on our lists yeah Th they take a lot of effort so i guess to summarize uh the best way to deal with burnout is to remember uh you're not a robot eat and sleep take time to remember your hobbies you know screws hammers <laughs> and um weight limits are not are not <laughs> your, your whole existence Problem solving 24-7 will fry your brain completely. For real. And recognize the achievement of what you've already done. Because mm. I can guarantee you, you have done a lot. And um, yeah. And yes, we are speaking to ourselves as well. Because I will be rewatching this video next time I fry my brain. It's like a message to future me. You know, you're being an idiot. Take a break. You know... Have you checked your calendar? Do you know you haven't stopped for a week? <laughs> of course you're feeling uh, b burned out. Thank you so much for joining us for this rant. If you made it to the end, <laughs> well monkey done. monkey feathers in the comments. <laughs> monkey feathers. <laughs> okay, your keyword is monkey, monkey feathers. feathers. If you go to this point, monkey, monkey feathers, feathers all the way. Yeah. Okay. See you next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> monkey feathers. <laughs> monkey feathers, I was long. <laughs>